How's it going guys? We are planting a hydrangea today. Look at how beautiful this one is. This is the Little Lime Panicle Hydrangea by Proven Winners. And I picked this thing up in, I think December of last year. And I held on to it, it was such a good deal. I think I got it for like 20 bucks for a really good size hydrangea. Um, I've been wanting the little one. I have the Limelight and this is basically the exact same plant, just in a more compact form. So it's not gonna get very big. I have the limelight and it's gonna get quite large, but the little lime is one that I'm really excited about. This one is such a just beautiful color. The lime color of the blooms when they come out and then they turn to this beautiful red color in the fall time. I loved it. It was definitely one of my favorites last year. So to find the little lime, I was really excited to find something a little more compact. You guys know I'm running out of space in my garden. So this one only gets three to five feet tall and wide, whereas the limelight gets twice that. Um, it's a much larger plant. Um, so to have one that I can just kind of tuck in, and they also say that this one's really good for containers or little small areas. And because it's a panicle hydrangea, it means that it can handle a little bit more sun than those oak leaves or broadleaf hydrangeas that are out there. I'm not super well versed in hydrangeas, but I know that panicles we can grow in California at least. Um, I just have to give it morning sun and protection from that hot afternoon sun. They are zones three through eight. I am a zone nine, but we've had one now that's three years old and each year it comes back for us. So we don't have a problem with it here in California, maybe in those hotter climates, um, which I mean, we're already a pretty hot climate. So if you're getting hotter than us, I'm sorry about that. This blooms summer to fall time. So really good for that late interest of the year. And then even when the blooms die, the heads on it are just absolutely beautiful. We leave them up and then we prune it back in the springtime before some growth appears on it. Ours has already started to bud out. So I'm a little late to the game on pruning that one, but that's fine. They do say that you can plant this one in sun or in part shade. Um, they don't recommend planting it in deep shade. So like I said, we'll be planting it somewhere that it's gonna get morning sun and protection from that hot afternoon sun that's just gonna cook the leaves. Um, maybe if I was somewhere that wasn't 112 during the day and then 100 during the night, I would plant it somewhere where it got full sun. But if you need something that can take that sun, this is definitely the shrub for you. I love hydrangeas. I wish I could have more on there. I think we have three on the property, four. We have four on the property. So this will be my fifth one and probably the final one that I add to the property. Um, so I'm really excited that it's this little lime. So you wanna make sure that you do cut back some of these like spindly, spindly, these little tiny stems. So I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna do a little bit of pruning on this guy. I won't be taking it back much because I can see that the growers did take it back when they were selling it. Like I said, I bought this in the winter time and that's winter to Early spring is about the best time that you want to prune this. Um, it'll bloom on new wood. It won't bloom on old wood. So if you had some damage that happened during the winter, a branch fell on it or whatever it may be, a deer came in and ate it back, you'll be good. You'll still get blooms that year, which is really exciting. Um, I will be coming in though, like I said, just pruning off some of these little spindly guys. They've got to go. Um, and as far as fertilizing, fertilizer doesn't affect the color of the blooms. So you're gonna get true blooms every single year, whether you use a acidifier or not, um, a slow release fertilizer that doesn't affect the blooms. Some hydrangeas will bloom blue or pink, depending on your fertilizer, but these ones will always come out that beautiful lime color, and then they will age to a beautiful pinkish burgundy color um, by the end of the fall. So it's really cool. You get like two shows out of this one hydrangea. So let's go get this guy planted up now.
so I probably should go in and just trim this entire branch off down here. I know it feels like a lot, but I feel like the plant would be so much happier without that. Um, it feels a little crowded and you can see that it's growing sideways, so that's really not going to be very helpful to this plant. So trimming off that lower section that's growing sideways, it's going to hurt, but I think that the plant will be so much happier without that. That looks a lot better, as you can see. Definitely needed it. Okay, so after walking around on the property, I've finally decided where this thing is gonna go. <sighs> you guys, I spent an hour just sitting out here looking around the property trying to figure out where I was gonna put this hydrangea. It is so pretty and I love it. I'm really happy to have it, but I've run out of room. So I think it's gonna go somewhere right over here, right next to where I have the other hydrangea at. Um, so they'll be pretty close, so I'll have a really big one, I guess, the limelight, and then I'll have the shorter one right next to it, maybe like 10 feet down the way. So let's just go get that guy planted now. So coming down the rows, this is where it's gonna go. It's gonna go right here. I need something anyways there, so I think that that'll be perfect. You can see, I, so I have a Budlia here, and then there is the other hydrangea. So really, it's not going to be that far away from each other, but who cares? They're so beautiful. So I think tucking that guy in there, I've got a plum tree here, um, and then these anemones, and then I'll have the hydrangea right behind it. I think that that'll be really, really pretty. That is going to be so exciting. I mean, it, she looks small now, but she's going to fill in really nicely this whole space right here. Oh, I think that's just going to be so pretty behind these anemones to have the hydrangea here. This is just going to be so pretty. We have foxglove and a few other things. I've got some bulge weed. This is just going to be a really beautiful to fill that in. Hide some of this wonky fence that we got going on here too. So that is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.